Yo. I know what you guys are thinking. Who the fuck is this guy? Where is he? Why does his hair look like complete <laughs> ass cheeks? Well, I'm currently in Mozambique uh, visiting my parents. My hair is tied up, so roast me in the comments because it's hot as fuck in this bitch. But today I'm going to be doing something a bit different. I'm going to be going through a website called sampleit.io. Cody from Internet Money did a video about this a while ago. It's basically a random sample generator that's linked up with YouTube. There's a bunch of different filters you can go through. This website is actually crazy. Like, I don't know why more people aren't talking about this. But yeah, before we get into it, be sure to leave a like and comment if you guys are fucking with the videos. I want to try and do a bit more entertaining videos than just normal, you know, type beat tutorials. So if you guys are messing with these challenges please leave a like and a comment check out the website we're running a black friday special at the moment 40 percent off the entire website we did an entire rebrand of the website as well shout out to jake for that he went crazy with it everything looks super clean now and without further ado let's get into the video So starting off, this is how the website looks. It's really simple. Uh, you got the sample over here and then you got the metadata of the sample over here. So it's nice to know, you know, what label this is tied to. It says what genre, when it was released, who the artist is, literally anything you need to know about this song is here. Yeah. So yeah, this website really did a, a good job in that regard of just informing you like what you're getting yourself into, especially when it gets to samples. But yeah, you got a filter system over here that you can go through a bunch of different genres. You can choose a specific style of a genre. You can choose the country of its origin. You can choose the key, the BPM, even the amount of views and like the year it's released. And so you can get like really into detail. Another cool feature is this BPM tapper. So you can just tap along with the sample to get the BPM off rip. And then you can also copy the link of the YouTube video. I'm not too sure what I want to go for. Um, let's say hip hop, I guess. That start is fire. <laughs> I'm also sick as fuck if you couldn't tell, so you guys are gonna have to deal with some minor coughing every five minutes, but it's okay. <clears throat> Let me just get some fucking water, bro. Right, hey. right, I think I'm just gonna start with this beginning of the sample. So let's get this on time. <laughs> So getting a sample on time, there's a bunch of different ways you can go about doing it. Since I only want to sample this first part for now, I'll try and go into the rest of the sample a bit later. What I usually do is I'll try and listen for the part I want to sample. The part I want to sample is straight up just these four bars. So I'll just cut it there and delete the rest. And then, you know, you only have this small piece of sample that you can that you can manipulate. So uh, I'm just going to stretch it out a little bit to see if I can get it on time. So I'll just copy this over maybe. So after you get your sample on time, what I usually do is I'll just change the algorithm to stretch instead of resample because then I just bump up the range to 12. And if I want to change it up or down an octave to half time it or to just fuck around with the pitch, it's just easy to do it. So yeah, let's just start fucking around with the loop. I think I want to pitch it down. Let's get these drums going. Let's push it on even more, bro. It's getting better and better the more I push it down, so you know. Should I push it down even more? Fuck it, a whole octave?
Bro, I don't even know if I want to add anything else to this. Kick, maybe? I don't know if a kick works for this. Well, maybe just let it, like, hit on the one type shit. Yeah. Mm. Now let's arrange this somewhat. We'll start it off high, and then we'll just filter the back out of it. I'm gonna do a bunch of shit with it, so I'm gonna add reverb to it, and this radio EQ. Automate that, and automate that and then i automate the stereo separation as well let's chop up these drums real quick <coughs> okay halfway through the intro though i want the the drums to come in but just like top line but then i want to add a love filter to it automate this as well cut it out there I'm just gonna do some fucking obnoxious fucking chops. I wanted to change up the 808s over here. But yeah, I think that is about it for the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something new. Really hope this video doesn't get copyright strike, but we shall see. But be sure to leave a like and comment if you guys enjoyed the video. Once again, check out the description for our Discord, our Twitch, our website. Like I said, big boy specials going on. We got 40% off the entire website. Bunch of free kits, merch, wallpapers. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll check you guys in the next one.